Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard, episode 160, and we're going to start the video like this, with a platinum pack. Boom! Okay, so we get Luke Gallows, um, okay. So yeah, uh, welcome back to a brand new video, guys. We've got Battleground Rewards, another win, um, and this is obviously our last Battleground before the change. We're going to talk a little bit about it later on in the video, but if you haven't checked out what Twitter um, Supercard on Twitter posted that they're going to be doing some changes to Battleground with the reward system. So I'm a little bit scared that they're going to fuck it up and not make it as OP as it is now. They're probably going to fuck it up. But anyway, yeah, I decided to start off the video straight with a pack. So let's go ahead and tell our WrestleMania is next. So yeah, we just want some females. Okay then. Um. What? What? Is, is, is that an elite? What? Wait. What? How is that? How? What? The fuck? Wait, okay. Um, I thought... I thought the changes haven't been made. I thought, like, all of what? What? Um... Okay, so they've changed it. Two superstars elite to ultimate now. Okay. Is that literally... Or this what? And yeah, now Miz is in here. Okay. And the prices are still the same. So all they've done is went from giving you two ultimates to one what elite ultimate? What? Okay, that is so weird. That's really really weird. Um. Got that is so weird. Got elites, um, Charlotte. Okay, that is weird. That's so weird. Anyway, um, so they clearly did put the changes. I thought they said the changes wouldn't take effect of the battlegrounds they're already doing, and the, the changes seem really weird. Like, is that all they're changing? Okay, so if that's it, brilliant, because that's just fine, isn't it? So, okay, that aside, let's actually talk about the WrestleMania we caught, because it's pretty shit. Um, it's not, it doesn't help me in the slightest. I've already got on a Cedric Alexander Pro, so that is very disappointing. Uh, I don't, yeah, nothing really else to say about it. Where is he? All the way down here, probably, there he is. There's Cedric, so, oh, I don't really care. I really don't care. So, that's just, yeah, like, the WrestleMania doesn't really factor into that. We just get some battle points, which is cool, on 18,000 now. Um, and we can go ahead and change our thing to 12 and 0. Because this, yes, I need to do this. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm really proud that, of the team. That's why I uh, I put it here, because it just it is. It's awesome that uh, we've, we're doing so well. Save those changes, and there we go. 12 Battlegrounds win. 12 and 0. Like you can't. I don't think you can possibly be 13 and 0 yet. I don't think it's, it is possible. So, yeah, that's really awesome. Let's have a quick check where we are on the leaderboards. Top 100. That is awesome. That is really, really awesome. Let's take a little screenshot of that. But yeah, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Um, 83rd to be exact, and we're on 165,000. So they've got like yeah, okay, about 15,000 more than us. Like, but Zero Dimes are still like second, Champions are still first, so they're doing really well. Uh, Lone Wolves are fifth, well, that's really good. Oh, well, like, really good, everyone's doing well. Alright guys, we're going to end the first part of this video here. I will be back with some RTG gameplay later on. I'm going to go have uh, some dinner first, and then I'll be right back. But yeah, um, not great rewards. I hope you guys enjoyed the way we, we started the episode with that pack. But I'll see you guys in just a couple seconds. Yo guys, welcome back to episode 160. 
it's like a full 36 hours later, but we are back. Um, we've got some RTG to look at, we've actually got some Battleground to look at, and this is going to be a very interesting Battleground, because it might just be our hardest competition yet. Um, let's go ahead and, I'll show you guys Battleground first. So, we've got paired, got paired up against, well, their, the, their name of their team is WrestleMania 33++, and, well, they are actually WrestleMania 33++, but, um, well, actually, they are WrestleMania team, I'm not sure if they're plus plus, but it looks like they've got some good players, you can see a couple of them have got some uh, WrestleMania Divas as their pictures, there's a Bailey, their event card, and looking at our decks, we've got 122 point, it's going to be very, very harsh, uh, they're worth 92, we've got everyone over 100, but anyway, um, so yeah, good, great job, Mao plus 2-2 two, two equals life, um, we just got him into the team after the, um, a gaming banana, I think was his name. He had to leave. He was moving house or something. wasn't going to get any internet for a week, so um, he decided to leave the team. So I quickly got in him, um, so we could yeah do battleground with ten people basically. Um, so yeah, congrats to to you and Jamie for being fully charged. Pretty much everyone has already started apart from me and Super JT. So. I've already got a couple charges ready to go for 66, so we've got over half. I'm going to grind for the next couple of hours with some RTG because I'm really far behind and I'm working tomorrow, which is going to be quite interesting to see what we can do here. We're obviously going to get Jinder Pro, it's just a question of how close is it going to go down. So, well, yeah, yeah, we're only on Elite J Uso, uh, sorry, Jimmy. Yeah, the ultimate is J. So, Hoping to be about halfway through Ty Dillinger before I go to sleep tonight. Um, and that way, once I get home from work tomorrow, I should have about four, five, six hours to uh, to grind out the last couple cards. So I think we should do it. We're going to get into a game here um, on this Jimmy. On this, yeah, on this Jimmy Uso. Uh, we'll only play like one or two games because I'm like 9% patchy left on my phone. And uh, well, it's gonna die if we go if we do too long. So anyway, tag team match. These games are still really easy to win at this stage. Um, probably we'll have to do again a couple plus sixes maybe on the gender, but maybe we might be able to plus ten at this time. Apart from that, the Goldberg, Dean Ambrose, and AJ Styles proing is going very slowly because I'm not really playing much supercard at the moment at all. Um, and only when I am, I'm playing all this RTG. So yeah, it is going very slowly. A couple of episodes back, I said I'll try and do it for the next or next two episodes. And as you can see, well, I haven't managed that at all. So um, yeah, let's get let's get these games going. That is a tag for us. We should be able to win that. SmackDown Raw. We spoke about that um, either in the last episode or in uh, in the beginning of this episode. Hopefully you guys saw my Extreme Rules prediction video that I uh, released yesterday. It's going to be a really interesting one. I finally remembered what the name of that pay-per-view that I couldn't couldn't find the name of the last Raw pay-per-view. It was actually Payback, which obviously I knew, but I just blanked out in the video. Uh, Bray Wyatt, James Ellsworth, they tag as well. Easy win. Again, if I'm looking down, guys, I am playing Supercard on my phone. Um, again, using the Elgato and uh, something that gets me, like, puts HDMI into the iPhone thing. Not sure what it's called exactly. Just for people out there who wanted to know, because um, I know a lot of you guys want to do supercar videos as well, and some of you guys don't exactly know how to. Um, and a long time back, actually, I said I'd do a video where I show you guys um, how I record everything I use, you know, different ways of doing it as well. And I definitely want to do that for you guys if you know so you guys can figure out how to do videos yourself but it's not the best time to do that right now because the internet is still fucking up <laughs> but anyway uh, that matt hardy yeah that's going to be a win is this round three or round four we'll find out but yeah i'll have a quick look at goldberg at the end of this game to see um how how many games we've got left Gold goldberg is kind of my main objective with getting this gender done but AJ, obviously, I want to get it done, you know, because it's probably my favourite superstar, you know, on the roster right now. So, yeah, I want to get those done. The Dean Ambrose will get into my deck for a little while, I think. But, yeah, I, I will get him perfect pro but I don't think it will matter too much in about a week or so. So, if we could get some charges done, it'd be great. I actually played a couple games uh, today, and uh, getting a lot of charges, 
which is a really good thing. I'm really glad um, everyone who's in the team or everyone who's playing Battlegrounds, if you're not going to fully charge or do really well, maybe don't start Battlegrounds all the time because you don't have to. Um, but I'd definitely say start Battlegrounds when Ring Dom's up, when RTG's up, uh, so solo events. Because obviously they last three days as long as you don't rush through them, which, you know, there's no real point of rushing through them. If you take your time, you can do like two Battlegrounds in the time, um, you know, in the three days, 12 hours. So that's really, really useful while you're just grinding along an RTG, which you have to do anyway. We don't have to, but which you'll probably do anyway. You're going to be getting charges as well. That is a really convenient way of doing it. So this Goldberg. Oh, God. OK, wow, that is even worse than I thought. He's not even halfway. Uh, Jinder, I think. Yeah, about the same point as Goldberg, really. So they're not none of neither of them are like even halfway yet, but almost almost. So maybe by the end of RTG, we'll have a couple games left to play on, on a couple of stats. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have enjoyed this episode, do drop a like. That'd be very much appreciated. i um, hoping for another video out tomorrow. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, take care, and most importantly, peace out.